Today is Tuning Tuesday where we are answering your questions. So, let me start over. Hey guys, this is Melody from Tune Bucket. Today is Tuning Tuesday where we are answering your questions. Stay tuned. So today's question really hit home with me because it's something that I had to deal with when I first started doing music at a church about 12 years ago. And the question is this. I am the music director for our local congregation. Lately, I'm finding myself overwhelmed by the chore of creating music schedules and scheduling singers for our services every week. I am not employed full-time by the church and have other responsibilities I must attend to, such as my work and my family priorities. Do you have any suggestions that could help me? Well, the good news is, yes, I have a solution that I think may help. First of all, I wanna say that this is a problem. Yes, it's a problem. It's not what I wanted to say. First of all, I wanna say that this is a problem and it can become an even bigger issue if we let scheduling musicians and singers come in front of our work and family priorities and it can just become so overwhelming. So what I discovered was that when I sat down and looked at the team that I had to work with, all of my musicians, all of my singers, I started putting them into groups just like you would on a normal, for a normal Sunday service. So I would have um, a drummer, a bass player, a keyboard, however many instruments you have, assign those all to a person and then assign your singers, whether you have two or three of each part, assign people to those parts. So when I looked at that, I was discovering that I could have several different groups of singers and musicians that could work together on a constant basis. So say that, um, I'm just gonna pull names out of a hat. Say Mary Beth is a great soprano and I'm gonna put her on team one because she can help carry team one. And then um, John is gonna be the drummer for that team. So what I ended up with for a service was what I would call a service team, an entire band, an entire vocal group. I would take all of our musicians and singers and divide them all into service teams and I would pick and choose, you know, you, you don't wanna have all of the best on one team, but kind of um, hash it out and see who would work well together, put them on different teams. And then what I would simply do is just rotate those teams. So say that by the time you break your musicians and singers down, you have um, two teams or three teams. So I would say, okay, team one, you're gonna do music this week. Team two, you're doing music the next week. And if you have a team three or four, however far it goes, and I put that on the calendar. We use Google Calendar just because it's easy, but whatever calendar application that you have that you can share with your team that will automatically um, program in an event. For example, right now we have two service teams, so it's an every other week rotation. Service team one will do music this week. Service team two will do music next week. So when I input that into my calendar, I just schedule service team one for the entire week as one big loop. I don't even notate the services. I mean, it's just on there for the whole week. Service team one is this week. And I can go into the Google Calendar settings and get Google Calendar to automatically schedule service team one every other week for the rest of eternity. That's the awesome part. So if um, Mary Beth is on service team one and she sees that the week before Christmas she is scheduled to sing, she could let me know in September, hey, I'm not going to be there the week before Christmas. We're going to be in Idaho or wherever. And gives me plenty of time to say, okay, no problem, and I can put somebody else in her place. It also takes a huge load off my back because I'm not having to schedule musicians and singers every week. I mean, this thing is scheduled out until someone moves or a new singer comes in, then I can kind of tweak the schedule and put it back on the calendar and it's just gonna rotate, rotate, rotate until I wanna change it again. So just to reiterate that, 
um, my recommendation is to take the musicians and singers that you do have and rotate them on a constant basis where they will know automatically, okay, this week I don't play, next week I do, this week I don't play, next week I do, or sing. Whatever their job responsibility is, they'll automatically know. Now, if you just have um, four singers that you work with, alternate them. Put two on one week, two on the next, two on one week, two on the next. Another cool thing about this that I've found is when you have the same musicians and singers that are constantly singing together, they start playing better together because they're used to each other. Um, whereas if we're switching up all the time, sometimes it cannot be as tight as it normally would be. It's like with our musicians, I tease them and I really believe this. I think they can read the back of my head like the twitch of my head just because we play together for so long. I mean, years and years we've played together. So they know me very well. They know, <laughs> they know my, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This, what's this called? It's called um, body language. Body language. They can <laughs> totally read body language. When I look at them, they know exactly what I mean. So it just kind of creates that cool effect when musicians and singers play and sing together a lot, then they can start to work better together. I wouldn't put all of my A team players or my best musicians and singers on one team. I would kind of spread them out, but what you can do for special events and things like that is you can put together a special service team and you can bring them out for special events and say, you know, we're having anniversary services in November and so um, our special service team is gonna sing. I probably wouldn't call it special service team just because you don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings, but maybe service team five is gonna do the music this week and um, just wanna give you a heads up. So that'd be an easy way to, to organize that because then just you just have to say service team five instead of calling everybody's name. I don't think I have anything else to say. I've been talking for 10 minutes, so by the time we edit this video, it probably won't be that long, but that's how long I've been talking. How do I end this? Help, <laughs> get me out of this. Um, so that's all I have to say. I'll write a song and say good day. Oh. I hope this helps, and if any of you have questions that you would like us to answer on Tuning Tuesday, please, please feel free to send those to us. You can email us at info at thetunebucket.com. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Adios. Hasta luego. Hasta... No, not hasta mañana. I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you next Tuesday. How's that? Third of all, the first time I wanted to say... The first... La, 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 la. Okay. First of all, what I wanted to say, I have, I totally lost my train of thought. What am I talking about? Scheduling musicians and singers every week come in front of our 